Hello everyone, this is Virginia and Eugene and welcome back to my channel. Um, so if this is your first time here, um, I'm a second semester master student studying media and communications at Korea University under the GKS scholarship. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today about probably the biggest mistake I made during my application process and how you guys can um, avoid making the same mistake. So, as you can see by the title, I failed one of my interviews. Sechumi is very sad about it too. <laughs> um, yeah, so I applied through the embassy track um, in my country is the United States, and so um, I did pass the interview for the American Embassy and second round of NIID. Um, and then I was on the third round where you have to um, have some interviews with different universities. And so since it was embassy track, I chose three universities. So I chose Korea University as my number one. My second was Jungang University, and then third was uh, like Busan University or something like that. Um, yeah, so uh, out of the three, the only one I was really interested in going to was Korea University because um, mostly like, um, first of all, their media and communications program is really well known. Also, they have a lot of classes offered in English, which I thought would be a lot easier to handle. And then, of course, their mascot is the tiger, and that's my favorite animal. He's not a tiger, but he's a little panther. Anyways, um, so yeah. The second choice, Jungang University, um, I chose it because it was in Seoul, but their whole program was also um, in Korean, and that's a little stressful. Um, none of the universities in the Seoul area are like anywhere close to where I live, so either way, it was going to be a long commute. But anyways, um, this story is about the interview for Jungang University. So let me set the scene for you guys. I had to skip a meeting at work because it interfered with the time of the interview. Um, and my team leader was okay with it, it was fine. So I went into a separate room and I was ready for the Zoom interview and they said it would start at, maybe it was like three o'clock or something. But then I waited literally 15 minutes, the person still hadn't come. And then he came, it was just one professor. Um, it was entirely in Korean, which like, I was fine I guess like I have a topic five but that does not mean like much like I was a little caught off guard by that but I guess it makes sense since the department is like all in Korean I don't know how this would have worked if I had still needed the language year so I don't even know um I started the interview he asked basically like uh you know introduce yourself that part was fine then he said like um what were you thinking about studying and I told him what I was thinking about which, to be honest, like, I didn't really have that solid of a plan. Um, I'm not, like, one of those people who went to my master's program, like, really, really wanting to study, like, something very specific. I just liked the general, like, media um, topic. But I told him, like, an idea I had, and then he was like, oh, we don't have any professors that are interested in that. And I was like, oh. And he was like, do you have anything else you'd be interested in? Um, studying and this is I think one of the main mistakes I made the next sentence I said was oh to be honest I don't really care what I study um, it doesn't really matter to me like anything's fine and then the professor just said like okay well I think we're done and um, I'll just hope for some good results for you and that was the end it, did, it probably didn't even last like five minutes like the whole interview and I could kind of tell that he wasn't really that interested in me, but I felt like um, it was pretty obvious that I hadn't really prepared well for the interview because I hadn't really researched the faculty. So I ended up um, getting rejected from Jungang University and like, thank God, um, Korea University didn't have a separate interview. So that's probably the only reason I made it there. Um, so my advice for you guys is please research the university and the faculty, like the professors. Look at what their research interests are so you can avoid making such a simple, basic mistake like I did. And it's probably also a good idea if you can 
at least like come up with some concrete idea of something that you might be interested in researching um even if like you don't end up researching that topic it just sounds more professional if you tell them like oh i'd like to research this um it's not like you're signing up to research it right then right you're just um, explaining to them so it makes it look like you're more serious about your studies so that is how i failed my interview Please don't make the same mistake. Please do your research about your universities, even if you're not sure, because you never know. You might not get your first choice. Make sure you prepare for all of them and do your interviews well. I'm sure the faculty will be nice and supportive. You know, they usually are. So as long as you guys put in the effort, do some research, like some background research and everything, it should be fine. So good luck to everyone with your university interviews and hope to see you guys in Korea soon. Eugenia, bye-bye.